All right, so if you clicked on this video, you probably want a real look, a real insight into what it takes to run an OF agency. Of course, you see some videos which are just fully glamour uh, and all the highs and, and, the, and the money you can make as an OF agency. But what I also want to touch in this video, and I want to be a bit more transparent on this channel in general, in terms of the struggles we face as, as an agency, where we're currently at. So if this is the first video you watch on this channel, my name is Henry. I run an OF agency doing between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars revenue. We generate on a monthly basis up to seventy thousand uh, dollars for OF creators, and we take a cut of that for marketing services, chatting services, etc. And I want to start being a bit more transparent as, as well, apart from giving tutorials and things like this on the channel to actually document the realities of trying to scale up an agency like this. In full transparency, in the next six to 12 months, I want to, on a monthly basis, generate $500,000 or more for creators on OF per month and take home as an agency $100,000. So this is just documenting each stage. So I decided I will do these sort of update videos at the end of every single month if we can just run down the uh, positives of the month what we've been able to do where we, our agency is currently at the failures and struggles that we had maybe we tried different traffic sources and it didn't work or we just lost a lot of money on that or maybe we had a creator uh, take money from us and not give us our fair share maybe i had some learnings in terms of hiring an employee which didn't go so well so this is just going to be at the end of every single month a bit of a transparent look in terms of what it takes to grow an agency in this space to $500,000 in revenue generated per month uh, and take home at least $100,000 per month for the agency. So again, looking back, we are on August 31st when I'm making this video, we've generated, I believe, again, I'll pull up inflow about $65,000 in the month of August for our creators, which is a $10,000 increase from the month prior. Again, uh, we're working with about five separate creators or, or so at this point in time. Again, some around the $20,000, $25,000 mark and some around the 10,000, some a bit lower around $5,000 mark. We, uh, up until last month, that is where we're currently at. So again, we've grown by $10,000. So how we've grown in the last month is marginally, we've improved some of the results from our creator we're managing in the month prior. We've also taken on board some chatting clients. So we started chatting for our first batch of creators. Um, as well as some agencies that we're taking on to chat on behalf of the creators that they manage because we've trained up a good bunch of chatters. So by the way, quick plug, if you're interested in chatters for yourself as a creator or as an agency, again, the link is in the bio, primechatters.io, get in touch with me, we'll get on a call and see if we're right fit in terms of providing chatters for your page or your your um, models pages. So that that is some of the successes we had in the last month. Again, our first batch of chatters that we've given to agencies is going pretty well. Um, so that is a bit of a, a low down in terms of, of, of that. In terms of the traffic sources that have worked well, we're still doing a bunch of Reddit, which is, is going pretty decently. In general, most of the creators that we're, we're doing Reddit for are going pretty well, but I would say Reddit is also dependent on what look you have and what niche you can be put into, because again, it's going to depend on how successful, it's going to depend on how engaged those subreddits actually are that you're able to post in. And obviously, even if you've got a very engaged subreddit and you don't fit the subreddit really well, you're not going to, do really well you're not going to rank very well in the subreddits even if you pump a lot of upvotes or something like that to the post so again you've got to be the right fit so we found on the whole maybe 60 percent of creators we work with are able to kill it on reddit and we're doing well on on the whole with that um, again we've started to also some creators that we have are doing well on tiktok um, again we still need to fully crack the code in terms of how to 100% make creators go viral on TikTok. Again, fully transparent in terms of that, but we, we were able to get a few decent results uh, so far with, with TikTok, uh, especially once we build accounts to a certain point, going live on the accounts is, is doing pretty well. Um, so those are, again, some of the successes. We also started to, I think I have um, some phones somewhere around here. We started to uh, crack uh, dating apps with App Clona. Uh, again, maybe some of you uh, aware of that or you should be aware of that if you're in, in this uh, space is one way you can is one way you can clone tons of dating apps and be able to drive traffic from that so we have uh, it here app cloner here again we are uh, you can either buy slots you can actually pay for the full uh, version which are, is, is a recommended uh, way of doing that but this is going to segue into some of our challenges that we face in the month of August so we've actually we have to buy Android phones because App Cloner only works on Android phones. First of all, I hired tons of other agencies and other people in Telegram groups who said they could do uh, set up dating apps properly for us as an agency. It's not gone well. So we've decided to, you know, take things into our own hands. I bought a bunch of phones uh, to test out the App Cloner and start driving traffic from that. So we got a, a bit of success 
so far. So we've got a bit of success so far in terms of those apps. Again, not huge amounts of success. We're trying uh, Badu, Bumble, uh, Tinder, OkCupid, okay and we tried to test out Fruits, uh, but I don't know whether that's because where I'm located, we're not able to actually use Fruits successfully. So um, again, uh, that, that is sort of the failures slash things we're trying out at this point in time, just trying to transition uh, a bulk of our traffic as well into dating app traffic because we just feel we can control that much more once we crack that. So I'm going to be talking a lot more in other videos in terms of our tests uh, and what's working and what's not working in terms of dating app traffic as well. And finally, another sort of challenge that we're ha having is in, in terms of our main agency as well as the chatting arm of our agency that we currently have, I still spend too much time having to I, st I still spend too much time having to make sure that our chatters are performing as well as they can. I still notice some days uh, chatting revenues go, go down and stuff and I need to make sure that we are constantly improving from that. So in the future, in probably the next uh, month, I'm gonna try and hire some chatting managers or managers that can actually do what I can do or to the same extent that I can do to make sure that every single day our chatters who are, are good, are very good in getting the results that we want with clients can still make sure that they're improving on a day to day basis. So that's one role that in the next sort of month I will look to hire into the agency to make sure that we are providing an incredible chatting experience for the, the clients we fully manage as well as the chatting, the chatting agency as well as the, the as well as the creators, as well as agencies that we're now starting to chat for. So again, just trying to improve our service to make, make sure our retention of, of clients, our, our retention of creators is on point, as well as the retention of the agency that we're now starting to partner up with. So that is something that, again, I'm working on on a daily basis. And, and yeah, hope this gives a bit of a lowdown in terms of just the ups and downs, the sort of things that an agency at this stage is working on. Uh, we, again, want to grow the chatting arm a lot more in the month of September. So I'll give an update maybe at the end of September to see how that's going as well. We want to focus in on really significantly driving more dating app traffic as well as TikTok in the month of September. So there's a number of things that we're working on in terms of that. So hopefully at the end of September, I have an update in terms of the successes uh, for our test with that. And I'm able to report back on this channel. So if you want to see some more videos in terms of how we structure chatting in general, again, I'm gonna recommend a playlist or video somewhere here. Again, click that. Uh, video and watch that if you're not subscribed to the channel again a like and a subscribe will help the channel out a lot so hope you do that and i'll see you on the next video